Hello parents and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. My name is Brian Reynolds, or Senor Reynolds as the kids call me, and I'm sorry that I was unable to attend Open House this year to meet all of you. I do hope though that through this short video that you'll at least get an opportunity to feel like you know a little bit about the gentleman that's teaching your kids Spanish this year. A little bit about me, I hold a bachelor's and master's degree from the Ohio State University. I was also a member of the marching band at Ohio State. And uh, this is my 10th year teaching. It's been a wonderful start to the school year and I'm really excited about uh, all the kids that I've had. The kids have been so fun and enthusiastic every day and I'm really looking forward to a great school year with all of them. This year I'm teaching Spanish 1 and I'm teaching Spanish 3. In Spanish 1 we'll be learning the present tense and we'll be talking about just about everything that goes on in a high schooler's life from school subjects to their favorite activities to who friends and family members are, all those type of things. Just this week, uh, we talked a little bit about a website called Quizlet. It's a great resource for learning and practicing vocabulary. It includes flashcards to pronounce Spanish words for you. There are also some review games. You can even generate um, a vocabulary quiz to test yourself. So it's always a great resource to use um, if you're trying to get ready for a test in my class. Like all things technological nowadays, there's an app for that. It's called Quizlet. I would encourage you to talk with your student, whether they are in Spanish 1 or Spanish 3, about Quizlet and suggest having them practice their vocabulary using this tool. Uh, you know, a couple times a week would be great. Um, I myself am quite fond of technology and we will be using a lot of different websites and other means of technology throughout the school year. If you're in Spanish 3 or your students in Spanish 3, Spanish 3 students will get to continue their knowledge of Spanish grammar while expanding their vocabulary. I conduct most of the class in Spanish and I've set up several activities each week that provide students with an opportunity to speak as well. Our focus is not so much on perfection, um, simply just an effort at communication. Even if kids make mistakes, my goal is for the students to be able to get their point across to a native speaker if they should happen to find themselves in a Spanish-speaking country, trying to speak Spanish with that person. And so far I've been really, really impressed with all the efforts of the kids in class. In addition to my teaching duties, um, I'm also the new foreign language department chair, so if you have any questions regarding the department, feel free to contact me about those. And I'm also the advisor for the morning announcements. So if students want to be on TV, um, they can contact me with any questions about that as well. Uh, we call our morning announcements ENN, Eagle News Network. And uh, if any kids are interested in possibly being uh, behind the scenes or on camera, have them you know, come talk to me about that. A couple of kids already have, in fact. Um, again, I would just like to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. You can reach me either by email or by leaving a phone message with the main office. I usually try to respond uh, via communication within 24 hours. And um, just thanks so much for watching. Have a great school year, and I hope to meet all of you at conferences soon. Bye-bye.